You know, I can show you a, a conventional system. In this lab, researchers are converting captured carbon dioxide into something we can use. It's what's known as a self-driving laboratory, which puts artificial intelligence in the driver's seat, allowing it to push the research forward. Professor David Sinton and his team are using a self-driving lab to convert CO2 into gases like ethylene, used to make food packaging, bottles, and other plastics. If you were to start in my lab today, we'd train you up, we'd get you a lab coat. But you quickly realize you want to do some testing, you want to have a great device, you want to have great performance. That's a pretty, it's pretty challenging. <laughs> so, so can AI help us sort through some of those variables? And the answer is yes. AI predicts the percentage of copper and other materials needed to synthesize the desired gas, refining its suggestions as the team feeds it new data and sending that info to a robot that creates the catalyst solution. Then, using electrolysis, charged hydrogen atoms are combined with charged carbon molecules, and the resulting gas is analyzed for purity. With AI helping to speed up the process, they're able to run 100 tests a week, compared to about one test a week without it. This research is one way AI is helping to speed up the discovery of new materials and technologies that could help in the fight against climate change. Again, it's, it's upward, it's heading in the right direction, but the slope doesn't match the 2050 goals. So I really, we really do need acceleration. AI is also helping monitor deforestation, track ocean temperatures, and help expedite the discovery of materials for better batteries. One AI expert says though it isn't a silver bullet, AI is one of the best tools we have in this fight. Uh, if we were to meet the timelines of that urgency, uh, machine learning and AI is probably one of the sharpest tools in the arsenal that you can have. Sinton says AI has already made predictions his team wouldn't have come up with themselves, and he's excited to build on those discoveries. His goal, he says, is to have AI fully run the lab. With climate change rapidly changing our planet, AI could provide major breakthroughs as we search for solutions. Alyssa Julie, Global News, Toronto.